When stars die, they don't fade. They go down swinging. A supernova. One star turning into an atomic bomb the size of a solar system. Sometimes it's a hypernova, a supernova on steroids. The collapse keeps falling until it becomes a black hole. And when that happens, the newborn singularity spits out twin jets of radiation, each one moving close to the speed of light. We call those events gamma ray bursts, second only to the Big Bang in raw energy output. One burst can release more energy than our sun will burn through in its entire 10 billion year life. When the two neutron stars collide, it's called a kilonova. Gold, platinum, uranium, the jewelry of our world were minted in those collisions. A magnetar, a neutron star with a magnetic field so strong it could erase every credit card on Earth from halfway across the solar system. Fast radio bursts. Each one carries as much energy as our sun emits in a full day, all packed into the time it takes a hummingbird to beat its wings. No one knows what causes them. The cosmos doesn't whisper, it detonates. 